Including people with disabilities from the beginning of every project is important for the accessible and usable outcome of your product or service. The mantra, nothing about us without us, reinforces the importance of including people with disabilities in all that we do. We aim to empower everyone across the full spectrum of disabilities. These include vision, hearing, mobility, learning, neurodiversity, and mental health. Let's check in with some Microsoft employees who will share how disability and accessibility have impacted their daily lives. I'm a senior accessibility program manager at Microsoft. I help teams make their sites accessible so that people with disabilities can use them. I have low vision and that means I don't know what my eyesight will be like from one day to the next. So I use magnifier that's built right into Windows and that helps me read the documents that people send me. I also use customizations to my pointer for my mouse and I've adjusted the color and the size so that I'm able to locate it anywhere on the screen. It's all about access. I am the Global Accounts Payable Manager based out of Redmond here at Microsoft. Accounts Payable touches every part of the business. There isn't anybody in the company who doesn't generate something that needs to be paid in one way or another. I am completely deaf. I don't hear anything. Um, I'm also late deafened, which means that I was previously hearing and then became deaf later in life. I am on teams all the time, all day long, for meetings, group meetings, one-on-one. -on -one. Teams really has one of the best captioning models that are out there on the market. I can use it in meetings, I can use it for outbound phone calls, and most recently I can even use it for inbound phone calls. Um, so for a deaf individual who voices for themselves, such as me, um, this is a lifesaver. It's a game changer. I'm a customer success manager in the healthcare and life science industry. That could be meeting and doing product demos. It also could be just trying to forecast in terms of what do I need for that particular business. Really kind of depends on the day. My analytics enables me to look at data over time. So what that means is because I have anxiety at times, I tend to lose focus or be really nervous when a big meeting comes up, for example. So I'm able to schedule some time for focus, but I'm also able to see over time, how did I trend? Am I spending more time on meetings and um, or, or you know, creating documents when I should be doing something else. So it allows for me to be able to pivot where I need to or continue on if I'm doing a great job. Part of what I do as part of my job is I have responsibility for helping skill our employees and then also skill our customers and partners on our, our technology. And so part of what we really do is also think about how we build accessible products. You know, I have dyslexia and my two favorite features that I like to use are editor and spell check. And the reason for that is that those are things that are really hard for me to do. Um, and I also know how important it is to have your work not have spelling errors and to be grammatically correct. And so the tools enable me to actually do that without spending all of my mental energy trying to get it correct from a grammatical and spelling perspective. And I can actually spend my energy on the content and what we're trying to say. I get to spend a lot of my time in uh, in developer tools, uh, Visual Studio, uh, VS Code, and um, working with the Azure portal. I'm quadriplegic from a football injury in college, and that's made it obviously very difficult to operate a traditional mouse and keyboard. Um, what I use in in its stead is a this headset mouse you can see, which tracks my head movements on the screen. Uh, the white puff switch allows me to click. And then in conjunction with that, I use a the on-screen keyboard built into Windows, which allows me to just point my head at letters and uh, click that way. And so whether I'm writing an email or um, writing code in Visual Studio, uh, I can do that very quickly with, with the combination of those two technologies. Every person is an individual and has their own unique experiences. 
These stories demonstrate just a few ways in which disability can impact the lives of people around the world. When you build products and services with accessibility in mind, you will create a better user experience for everyone.